Welcome to Imari's 9.3 tutorial series, Batch Pipeline 2 for image processing and object detection, setting up and viewing the results. In this tutorial, you will learn how to set up a batch protocol, including both image processing and object detection steps. To start setting up a new batch pipeline, simply select New Batch icon. Batch Pipeline Creator consists of two major steps Batch Setup Step 1, Image Processing, and Batch Setup Step 2, Objects. In this example, I want to use Median Filter on the blue channel to improve edge detection and then detect surfaces. To improve the visibility, I turn off other channels, green and red. Adjust contrast in blue channel. and reduce the preview size. In the batch setup step 1, image processing, select median filter from the drop-down menu for blue channel and then select 3 by 3 sampling window. As shown in the image processing tutorials, you can add multiple image processing operations to different channels in this step, but here for simplification, I will focus on one channel. Check the preview to make sure the results are satisfying. If so, press Next, which takes you to Batch Setup Step 2 – Objects. I want to detect one object – Surfaces in blue channel. And again, you can add as many objects as you want. Add Surfaces. Proceed with the Surfaces Creation Wizard steps. Here I used predefined parameters and finish the wizard with the finish button, double green arrow. In this step, it's crucial to decide if you want to keep image preprocessing results or just detect the objects on the processed image, but keep the original data. If the batch pipeline consists of two steps, image processing and objects, the image preprocessing is not stored by default. If you want to save a processed image, you must tick the checkbox Batch Stores Processed Image. If you are ready, press OK button in the bottom, which finishes the batch creation wizard. Enter the name for a new batch, My Protocol. Now, when you highlight the batch protocol thumbnail with single left mouse click, batch protocol properties appear in the right panel. It's clear it consists of two actions represented within separate bricks of different color – green for image processing and blue for object detection. To edit this pipeline, click on the pencil icon above. To modify the batch pipeline within the wizard, select the purple wizard icon – Edit. This option will get you again into the editor where you can precisely modify the image processing batch protocol or even add object detection on top. If you simply want to add or remove one brick, drag and drop it from the folder or right click and remove. Remember to save your changes. Once the protocol is ready, right click the batch thumbnail and select run batch or run batch including subgroups. Batch protocol always processes all images in the folder. Batch progress bar appears in the down right corner. Once the protocol is finished, you can see a green tick next to the protocol and next to individual images. Once the protocol is finished, I would like to focus a little bit on the results so you know what you can find there. All the results of your batch protocol are stored within the image and you can find them in the list of created objects. The batch results can be modified and the modifications will be then included in the global results of the batch run. To export the results in one CSV or Excel file, go to right panel in Arena where all batch jobs are listed and click the floppy disk icon. Choose XLS or CSV export dependent on your needs. If you export an XLS file, Individual parameters for all images are grouped within one worksheet. 
You can add filtering to extract data for individual images. The same batch protocol can be run to analyze another folder. I have previously run the same batch protocol on all images within the folder Image Processing Control. To compare the results within one plot, simply go to a parent folder, then select Child folders you want to compare and click a new plot icon. Thank you for your attention. Please look for other videos from Imaris 9.3 tutorial series.